Hi, and welcome to your 16th iOS programming tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to dismiss or hide a keyboard of a text field or text view when the user presses the dismiss or return or done key on that keyboard. It's fairly simple and involves very little code, so let's get started. Open up Xcode and create a new project. For now, I'm just going to create a single view application, but you can create any project you want. I'll just call it Keyboard Dismiss. Again, you can change the product name, organization name, company identifier, and so on. I'm only going to set this to be an iPhone application, but again, you can customize that too. Find and locate where you want to save your project, and then click Create. Let's begin in our main.storyboard and add a text field where the user can enter some text and see the keyboard appear. So, in your objects panel, and if you can't see that, make sure that you have it open up in your top right corner. You can click on it to make it appear. And find the text field. It's a white box that has the word text written in the center, and is fairly distinguishable as a text field. I'll just make mine slightly bigger. It's worth running the application now to just see what happens currently. So, open up the iPhone simulator and run the application. Once it starts up, what you'll see is just the text field, but when you click on the text field and start typing, and then click the return key, rather than the keyboard dismissing, nothing happens. What we'll make happen is we'll make the, uh, when you click the return key, make the keyboard hide or dismiss or go away, and just set this flashing cursor to stop and everything. And that can be done with just one line of code. So back in Xcode, we need to hook up an outlet for our text field and an action for the text field. And I'll explain why there needs to be an action for the text field in a moment. So open up your Assistant Editor by clicking on the Tuxedo icon in the top right corner. And then make sure Automatic is selected and ViewController.h. Then click on your text field and right click and drag in between the Add Interface and Add End Lines. And a box will appear, a pop-up box. Make the connection an action, type ID, argument sender, and make the event did end on exit, instead of editing did end. Then we'll just call this text field dismiss. And then press connect. Then after the add interface line, add a curly bracket and press enter. Then right click again on your text field and drag it in between the two curly brackets. Inside here, let's just call this text field, and make sure the connection is now an outlet, the type UI text field, and the storage strong. Then click connect once again. The reason we selected did end on exit before for our IB action, is did end on exit is called for the text field in particular, when the user clicks that return, or done, or go, or whatever the key, the text of the key is, when they click on that key, did end on exit is called. So what we'll now have is we'll be able to detect when the user presses that key and then we'll be able to, with our outlet, hide the outlet or hide the first responder for the outlet. And I'll explain all of this a bit more in a moment. I'm going to go back to my single editor and go into viewcontroller.m. Now we can go into our IB action text field dismiss method and start adding the code in there. It's just one line. Open a square bracket and type text field resign first responder. And then add a closing square bracket and a semicolon. All that's doing is saying text field resign first responder. In this case, the first responder is the keyboard. So it's just saying, this is pretty much the code to hide the keyboard. The reason we put it inside this IB action is because this IB action is called when the user presses the button. If you ever wanted to only programmatically close the keyboard, maybe after a certain amount of time, so you might have a timer, and then after 30 seconds the keyboard should be closed, you only need this line of code here. The text, the name of your text field, resign first responder, in square brackets. Let's run our application now and see if it's worked. So once again, run your application in the simulator, or on a real device, and then start typing in the text field, so I'll just type hi, and now if I click return, the keyboard dismisses. I'll show you that again. I don't even have to type anything, I just click return, and it dismisses. Obviously, since you're using the iPhone simulator most probably, you can just press the enter key on your Mac even, and that'll simulate the return key. You're probably wondering if you don't know how to already, how to dismiss, uh, or how to change the return key's text. 
So you might want that blue done key, which no longer exists in iOS 7. Now it's just the standard grey. You might want a go key, a, the Google, Yahoo, something like that. That is, again, really easily done and involves no code. Just hop into main.storyboard once again. Make sure you've selected your text field. And then inside the attributes inspector, make sure that's selected. It's the uh, slider inside the text field area. And if you can't see it, hover over where it says text field and then click on show. And you'll see there's a few options, but you want to go down to where there's capitalization, correction keyboard, appearance, and return key. So what we need to do is change the return key. So here, if you click on it, you'll see all the options. Default is just return. If I, I can have go, Google, join, so on. I'll have done, because done uh, pretty much sums up what the key is doing. Now if I click stop and run it again, you'll see that I've now got this blue done button. And if I click on that, it again dismisses. I could also change the type of keyboard and this would still work, as long as there is that return button. One thing to note is that the number pad keyboard, I'll show you that quickly, does not have a return button. And if you'll see it now, you, there's no return button on the keyboard, so there's no way for the user to dismiss this keyboard. One way around this is to add a button above the keyboard and just show it when uh, the keyboard appears. And what you can do with that button is just, uh, when that button is pressed, all you need to do is use this text field resign first responder code. Uh, and that will close the keyboard. It doesn't matter what IB action it's inside of. I could put it in view to load uh, and it wouldn't matter. So that's how I can change the text field, change the return key text, as well as dismissing the keyboard, most importantly, when the return key is pressed. So if you've got any questions, comment on this video, message us through YouTube, visit our Facebook page, or visit our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com. All the links are in the description. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great content, and we'll see you next time.